This hen was found stuck in a manure pit at an egg farm in Abbotsford, British Columbia, one of three visited by eyewitnesses in April 2018. In Canada, around 20 million hens are exploited for their eggs in warehouses like these. Here's a glimpse into their world. The hen's feces fell into pits beneath their cages, forming piles up to five feet tall that were teeming with maggots and other insects. More than 200 hens were trapped in that manure. They had been kept in filthy cages like these, but when they fell into the pits below while they moved in or out of cages, they were just left there. Many were emaciated, severely depressed, and buried even up to their necks in a slurry of feces. The eyewitnesses rescued dozens of them from the pits. For scores of others, help didn't come in time. Most hens used for their eggs spend about two years crammed into cages like these. They're forced to stand and attempt to sleep on wire flooring, which digs into their feet, causing painful inflammation and injuries. With nothing to grind them down, their claws become overgrown. On egg farms like these, they can't do anything that's natural or important to them, unable even to spread their wings or form a social order in these severely stressful conditions. They peck at each other and even pull out their own feathers. These fastidious hens were packed so closely together inside cages, stacked on top of each other, that those on top had no choice but to urinate and defecate on the ones below. The ammonia fumes that permeated the air irritated their lungs and burned their skin. This hen's cloaca was prolapsed, a very painful, sometimes fatal condition that is often caused by a poor diet or the strain of excessive egg laying. She was rescued and rushed for veterinary care. Other hens had died. Their surviving cage mates were forced to live among the decomposing corpses. The most important thing that you can do to prevent the kind of suffering that you've seen here is to go vegan today. Thank you. This is Kat Graham for PETA.